Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, do we, Jack? Let it snow, let it snow, let it... Whoa! It's Beth, Rockin' Raven, coming to you live from Blizzard 2016, Washington, D.C., Northern Virginia. We've got about, oh, oh, sorry, Blue Jay out the window. Here, let me see if I can turn this toward the window and you can see maybe the Blue Jay on the branch right in, front, in the center. There, Blue Jay. Hey. Uh, anyway, this is... Uh, I'm still there. I'll zoom in on the Mr. Blue Jay. There he is. Hello, Mr. Blue Jay. You're looking very handsome in the snow. All right. Anywho, uh, so we got a blizzard going on. It's snowing sideways out there right now, and uh, we put out food for the feeder, and all the neighborhood birds are loving our house. So, and the cats are going crazy trying to, wanting to get the birds. Um, so yeah, uh, thought it'd be a good day to make another floss tube video. So hi floss tube. Uh, and today I thought I would show uh, my whips and a recent FFO. Well, not fully finished at, but for a reason. There's a reason why this isn't framed. Um, and I thought I'd also, um, go ahead and confess to some sins. <laughs> Stuff I'll never stitch, apparently. I haven't seen a whole lot of videos, of sins videos, uh, so I wanted to do one. I thought it might be kind of amusing and, well, anyway. Uh, let's start with the whips, shall we? So, uh, the first one that I'll show is uh, Mirabilia uh, Crystal Symphony. Uh, that's obviously not the the picture of what it's supposed to look like. Uh, I started on her ugh, probably in 2009 and here it is 2016 so I decided to and she's she's still on the the scroll bar so uh, I can't really show it all off but I, I saw somebody did a pink conversion online and I thought that was kind of cool. So I wanted to do my own pink conversion, and it's going really swimmingly. Uh, I, I, I like the pinks with the grays. Um, for a while, that was a really hot color combination. I don't know about now, but uh, it, lo it looks nice. But I'm kind of experiencing, as I often do when I alter charts, uh, kind of experiencing a bit of a, a dilemma of what to do with the pink conversion uh, when I get down to the bottom of her dress, because the bottom of the dress is uh, the, the black ribbon with the flowers. And I'm not sure whether to keep the black, keep the black at the bottom of her dress or do that pink as well to match her, her sash that I've done pink, the sash and the big ribbon at her back. So, um, to be determined. We'll, we'll see. Uh, I, I don't have any recipient in mind for this one. I'm in no rush to finish it, so uh, maybe. So far, so good. Um, okay, some current whip that I've been working on this past week or so, uh, a little bit every day, is the uh, By the Bay Needle Art Tidal River number one. And that's the picture. That's what it's supposed to look like. Oh, goodness. My husband just walked in and <laughs> he looks like he's been doing duty on the wall <laughs> with Jon Snow. <laughs> Say hi to Floss Tube, sweetie. Hi. Okay. My headphones froze to my head. <laughs> he's been snow blowing. He got a new snow blower. He loves it. He's been out for the past 40 minutes snow blowing. Okay, where were we? All right. By the Bay Needle Art, Tidal River number one. <laughs> this is my progress so far on, on, well, let me 
try to get, I, I'm doing this in hand and, and I have this oh so sophisticated system of, of folding the fabric and holding it with uh, paper clips. So, I don't know, hey, you shouldn't do that. Well, it's okay. I, I, I don't leave them on there. They don't rust or anything. Uh, so that's what I've done so far um, in the past, I don't know, five or six days. And this is a, this is one of those, it's almost like a, a mini haid and that this is all solid stitches. There's the only, the only part of the fabric that's open is the top where the, above the hills and the trees, everything else is nothing but cross stitch. So, uh, I am not a haid person and probably never will be. Uh, I salute you haid folks. Uh, this, the thought of just doing this all these solid stitches is daunting enough. It's a lot. To me, that's a lot. So, uh, but yeah, I don't, uh, don't ever want to get into the, the Hades proper. And I, I know this makes me look a total and complete amateur saying, oh, wow, this seems so, uh, you know, when I've seen your projects, some of you are doing stuff that, uh, wow. Anyway, I salute you, Hades people. Uh, the next work in progress is this, I've shown this before, uh, I think in my first video, the Five Seasons of Quilts, and uh, winter, the winter version, so this one on top. And this is as far as I've gotten. Uh, I've done three quilts in one of the trees, and I am thinking about, honestly, because I don't really like the last two quilts very much on the end here, the ones I haven't stitched yet. So I'm kind of thinking of just chopping it off and putting that other tree over here and calling it done. But why not? It's my stitch your own stitch. Hmm? There's, as far as I know, unless someone can tell me otherwise, I don't think there's any cross stitch police who are going to come in here and confiscate all my stash because I um, got lazy and ended a chart early. Yeah, no, I, I think we're okay on that front. So I, I might just, the heck with it, I might just do that. I might just alter this bad boy and just go with three quilts. Three quilts in a tree and we're done. Okay. Uh, the next whip is, I barely started it, I started it early last year, like 2015, uh, and haven't gotten real far with it, but I, I really, <laughs> this is one of those that I probably shouldn't have bought or started in the first place, because I also don't have, I think I'm going to keep it for myself. It's one reason why I'm not working on it much, but I was in my, uh, what I've referred to before is my LNS, which is up in Strasburg, Pennsylvania. And uh, it's a neat little shop. It's got a couple of rooms. It's, it's called Hodgepodge in Strasburg, right there on the main drag. Um, if you ever get a chance to go there, go tell the owner, Marsha, that Beth says hi, and she'll say who. Um, no, she, if you say Beth from Virginia, she'll, she'll know who I am. Uh, so I, I uh, was in there shopping, browsing around, and she had a stand full of uh, kits. And one of them was this extremely out of print Dimensions Country Heartland Charles Wysocki. I love this stuff. And out of, it was the kit. It's out of print. 12 bucks. What? You gotta be kidding me. Yes, mine! Hello! So, uh, yeah, I grabbed that bad boy. And <laughs> this, unfortunately, is as far as I've gotten on it. And one of the reasons is sort of like this project. Um, this is on linen. This is Ada. This Ada is stiff as a board. Honestly, you could use it for a stretcher. It's so... So, you see, I'm trying to do this in hand, and it... Yeah, um, it, it's kind of a big, it's, it's wide, it's going to be 18 inches finished when it's done, so I really don't have scroll frames, scroll bars to fit this. So this is as far as I've gotten, and um, 
I don't know. It was one of those spur of the moment, you know, I don't need to tell you guys what it's like. Preaching to the choir. All right. Uh, that really does it for my whips. I know I don't have a lot. Again, amateur. It's amateur hour here. Look at my... Hey, you got some pretty snow footage at the start of this. Okay. Uh, I'll show the, uh, the most recent really big finish. Uh, I also mentioned this before. Uh, um, Queen Mermaid, Mirabilia, her first ever mermaid uh, chart that she did. And uh, I am doing this, or did this, uh, actually for a family member. And um, she wanted me to give it to her unframed. So this is why it's normally I, I uh, wouldn't give a, a something to somebody unframed because I feel like that's sort of, well, yeah, yeah, here's this thing that I worked on for many uh, countless hours and love it, but yeah, you're going to have to pay ridiculous money to get it framed. And that is just, you know, I don't do that normally. But she wanted it unframed so she could she get it framed and have it match her decor in her house and that's fine. I, hey, it saves me money. But uh, I did a modification on this uh, with her tail. I'll hold that up. <sighs> you can kind of see her tail hopefully a little better. Uh, I made her tail a little curvier because uh, in the original chart it was almost just straight like a whale tail. To me it looked more like a, a whale tail than a mermaid tail. And so I modified the chart a little bit and made it look a little more sinuous. Mermaid-like. So hopefully you all can see that. Okay. So, um, yeah, she's got the, all the, the beading, everything's done. So she's ready to go. And uh, she was, I was supposed to give her a, as Christmas 2015. She was actually ready by Christmas 2015. But um, we never got down to... Uh, North Carolina where they live to give this to them and I kind of wanted to give it to her in person because uh, she had I had she had asked me for years and years and years to do to give her some cross stitch you know, project uh, and I, I gosh a ridiculous long time ago and I never did uh, until now so I think she's totally forgotten that I was going to give her something and so I wanted to give it to her in person um, Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, oh, and here's the, uh, <laughs> here's my whip for, uh, my knitting whip. Ooh, yeah, this is about the best I can do, these two by two ribbed keyhole scarves. And I'm kind of, I'm really demotivated to knit right now. Um, it's because I knitted up a whole bunch of these scarves last year and I sold a few on Facebook. And as soon as I put them up on Facebook, Boom, they were gone. I mean, like five minutes. Ooh, me, me, I want one of you. And I sold them for a reasonable price. And so I waited until it got really cold again this year. And I did the same thing. I put them online and crickets, nothing. Scarves? No. So, screw it. I don't feel like knitting. Nobody wants the scarves. But, pow. All right. Now let's move on to the really depressing part of the video my sins. Oh, here we go. Confession time. Uh, stuff I will never stitch. I mean, it's, it's cute. It, it's just it's one of those. Again, at the time, it seemed like a really great idea. I don't know. The, the, the dimensions thing, the Wysocki thing, that almost might end up being a sin. It's just, but I got it. I mean, 12 bucks for this out of print. Anyway. Uh, so my first sin is this uh, little cross-stitch kit I picked up when I was in England. Um, I used to live there. I used to be married to an English guy and uh, so I, I got a few projects. So that's one of them. Uh, and actually I just realized there is another one. I think it's in the other room. I'm not going to get it. There, there's another kit that I haven't even opened. Another V&A. Uh, I don't know if V&A, the Victoria and Albert Museum is still doing, uh, V&A Museum is still doing these cross-stitch, but at the time they were doing a lot of them. So I picked up this little seaside village pin cushion and then realized, oh, wait a minute, I don't, I don't even know how to, I mean, it has instructions and the, you know, backing for it. I'm not going to, I'm not a sewer, I don't sew, I stitch. There's a difference. I'm going to finish this thing, so. 
think I got two rows into the chart and said, nah, unfortunately. Um, another thing that I got all kitted out, I got the fabric, I got the floss, everything, and then just kind of uh, never even started it. Uh, this Art Stitch Abstract Stained Glass. Um, I love stained glass. I love Tiffany. I love the Charles Rennie Macintosh. I love Art Nouveau. Um, love Art Nouveau, but I, I just, in the end, I, I just never got around to, I don't know, maybe I'll do a giveaway or something. Or, anyway. So, sin number two. Uh, sin number three. Oh gosh, and I feel kind of bad about this. There's a whole story and I'm not going to get into it now. This is for another video. Uh, but when I first got into cross stitching, I lived in Phoenix, Arizona. And uh, I found this little, little chart. And this is kind of small and kind of hard to see, but a uh, little desert scene. And it came with the over uh floss, but super cute little, little desert scene. I thought it was lovely. Very, 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 very Arizona. And uh, it's got, it's the whole kit, it's got the fabric, the instructions, everything. Um, and I'm sure it's long out of print. I got it at some store in, in uh, I'm trying to remember the name of it now, a store in, anyway, um, Camelback Road in Phoenix. And uh, love it, just never, never got around to starting it. So there you go, stuff I'll never stitch, number three. And the last one that I have to show probably the worst. I was really in the, I don't know, I saw it, I wanted it, I bought it, got the kit, spent rather a lot of money on the kit. Sorry, just getting my extra, extra fibers, gentle art. You might need fibers. Uh, of course you do. Uh, anyway, it's one of these Maya Sin number four is, and, and, and she's gorgeous. Um, beautiful Japanese dancer. And I was gonna do this for, uh, actually both my cousins have, have married um, folks from Japan. And um, so I was gonna do this for my cousin and uh, he, they were living in Japan and now they've actually moved to the United States and I don't know, it, it just didn't, I don't know that they care for it. So I decided to not, but I actually, I mean, I, <laughs> I divided up the, I went the huge hunks of, oh, cat hair. Anyway, I went through all the trouble of dividing up the floss and, and marking the chart, you know, in the center, and I think I maybe even made, yes, <laughs> I did two stitches. Oh boy, I did two stitches. And then, yeah, still threaded. I am lame. This was not a cheap, not a cheap kit either. But I, I just, I don't know. This is one I might hold on to for a little while. Uh, and maybe I'll find someone else who, I mean, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't do this for myself. Just, I, I, I don't collect randomly. This is my stitching room and it's all colonial and Pennsylvania Dutch and quilting. And that, that's, the kind, that's the kind of stuff I like to decorate with. I'm, I'm very much a, a, a colonial, really old school. Um, so I can show, actually, quickly to end the video, I'll do a little panoramic shot of my, my stitching room. So, uh, starting with, hello, snow again. Il neige. Right. So, uh, there's my quilted wall hanging. Um, kind of neat. My quillo. Pennsylvania Dutch country, or Pennsylvania, my bookshelf with all my little postcards and prints and 
little birdhouse that Amish guy I know named Amos made. Thanks, Amos. The pottery is from uh, Lancaster County. It's all from Lancaster County. Hand painted box, Lancaster. Lancaster, Lancaster, Lancaster. Stuff box, Lancaster. Yep. So, anyway, yeah. The obligatory barn star has about five billion of these, including one on the outside of my house because, you know. Uh, and then some, my moonlight wall. And I have more prints to put up here, but um, this is what I have so far for all my, my moonlight scenes. Uh, old stone. I love stone houses and stone barns. And then my absolute favorite. Oh my goodness. Yep. This print. Uh, Foley Moon. Peter School Fort. Right, Y'all, the artist. In case you're wondering. Um, and it's huge. It's absolutely enormous. It takes up most of the wall. Um, yeah, I got that directly from the artist himself you know, selling these limited prints on his website. So it's next to my car. It's probably the one thing I've spent the most money on, but uh, I don't care. I love it. And back to the window. So there you go. There's my tour of my um, the decor in my stitching room, and some other time I'll do a video of my stitching setup. But uh, for now, turning this back around so I can say goodbye like a proper person. Anyway, for now, uh, have a happy, happy Saturday, happy snow day if it's snowing, and if it is where you are, snowing or icy. I hope you're safe. I uh, hope you keep your power. And the rest of you, uh, have a great weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye.